adding a category in JMC is very easy to do. Simply come into the Categories and Assignments screen, which you probably are on, choose the course that you want to work with, I'll do Reading Level 1, and click Add Category. Categories are how we group together different gradable items, such as quizzes, or tests, or assignments. You can name a category to be whatever you want. You can name it in quiz category, and a test category, assignment category. You can do different goals that you want to hit. You can do, I can count to 10, I can count to 20, whatever might be under a category name. You can do one that might be dinosaurs and one that might be fish. You can do unit one, unit two, whatever you want to do there. I'm going to do one here called tests, just to keep it simple. If you're a person who grades using weights, put the weight in there. So my tests are worth 40% of my course. And then simply click save. That's how you add a category. It's super easy to do. If you're a total points person, meaning that categories are not weighted, then you would change it to total points after you've added your first category. So that's very easy to do as well. If you're a weights person, leave it on weights. Make sure to put a weight in. If you're a total points person, click total points after you've added your first category and then you're good to go. I'm going to go back to weights. If I want to add another category in, I simply click add a category and I'll put one in here called daily work, whatever it might be. If I am a person who does weights again, I'll have to put in a percentage there of the weight. Maybe I'll make this 30% here. And then I'll click save. Now I've got two categories listed there. Now there are a couple bells and whistles to adding categories that I want to let you know about. The first is you can make something a standalone category. That means you're going to grade that category. You're not going to put assignments underneath that. I don't typically recommend that. We used to use that in JMC before we put in separate exam grades on the report cards and progress reports and so on and so forth. But now that parents can go online and see a separate exam grade and print on the report card, most people don't use a standalone category. If for you to use a standalone category, it would only be for like a big project at the end of the term. You can make something also an extra credit category. If you want to know how to do extra credit in JMC, just watch one of these the instructional videos showing you how to do extra credit. You can also do assignment weights by points, user defined or equal within a category. If you're doing weights, it defaults to by points. If you have any questions about this, give us a call here at Tech Support. Additionally, you can drop the number of low scores in a category. When I was in third grade, I had a friendly to, uh, teacher that would say, hey, everybody's got a bad day, so in your daily work category at the end of the quarter, I'm going to drop your lowest score. If I put a 1 in there, it will go through this daily work category and drop the lowest score for each student, only for that category. So you see tests, I'm not dropping any uh, low scores here under the daily work I am. All right, two other items to note about this particular screen is you can copy categories from one course to another one. So I want to copy my tests and daily work category items to different items on this particular screen. I simply can come here and choose different terms and different courses and click save and that will copy those over to the other course. Additionally, you can click import and you could actually import all of your categories and assignments from the previous year. So I'm Mr. Freed in here. I could come and say, here's Mr. Freed. These are all the categories and I had assignments I had from last year. I can import them. It will import all the categories assignments into this particular year. So again, to add a category, it's not hard. Simply come in here, click add a category, put in the name. If you want to do some of the bells and whistles here, you sure can. If not, simply click save and then you're ready to add in an assignment.